so I thought it was time I did a baby ferret video again um, they're three weeks old from yesterday uh, they're currently in this hutch so I already have um, about six baby ferret videos from when Bonnie was a baby with uh, two brothers that I've kept Barney and Clyde I did a, a one week old, two week old, three week old, right up to eight weeks and this time rather than doing one every week I thought I'd do one sort of a uh, more every couple of weeks so I'll do one I did a live video a couple of weeks ago of sexing the kits when they were a week old so now they're three weeks old, their eyes are still closed, they still haven't been weaned yet so there's not really much to see except they're a little bit bigger uh, but what I'll go through is the hutch, the nest, where they are and um, I'll get them out onto, um, I've got another one of these jack pipe fleeces so I'll sit them on there and then you can go through them and I'll show you them and they might, you might even be able to see some of the colourings in the fur now because the dad's actually an albino so he's an albino male and Bonnie who's currently in there eating cheese like her mum is a sandy and her dad Charlie is a pole cat sort of coloured so this, the, the very light colours so with the albino sort of side chucked in there I, I don't know what I'm going to get out of these six seven sorry until they're older and their eyes are open and they're, and they're, they're sort of grown up a bit more so we'll get Bonnie out and put her away and then um, we'll go through the hutch and get the babies out so this is Bonnie the mum, so if you watch any of the other baby ferret videos that's on my YouTube channel she is one of the babies um, Betty was the mother that's in the penthouse at the moment with Charlie he's the father of Bonnie um, there's also Barney and Clyde in there which are her brothers now she's as you can see she does have dark colouring on the back of her neck and down her back um, and she's doing really well, she's, she's still got a lot of weight on her She's, um, she's feeding them very well, so she's all fit and healthy, wanting to be off, so I'll get her away. So as you can see, it's a pretty basic hutch, it's just um, this sort of side is uh, where Bonnie feeds, goes to the toilet, I literally cleaned her out yesterday, so that's for the day. Um, and these are just, I use these in all my hutches, just wood shavings. It's not sawdust as people seem to think, um, it's actually wood shavings that are for pets and horses and that kind of animal bedding. I've actually bought a bale of it today and it's starting to rain now, there's a bale of it there. That's This is how I buy the shavings, so that's, that's, that's the bale of shavings that I use and I'll buy one of them maybe once every month, six weeks, something like that. So as you can see in the hutch it's separated into two compartments so there's a sleeping area which is in here um, and then obviously feeding toilet and a bit of a run around area basic water bottle and then as you can see if I can alter the camera that's the nest that Bonnie's made and where the babies are currently sleeping So this is just the usual bedding I use for ferrets which is just shredded newspaper. I used to use hay and straw and I found that you get a lot of moisture comes out of it and then you just get damp all in this area and then mould and it, it just it's really bad I found and the easiest way to stop that I found was just to use shredded newspaper it's always dry there's no moisture in it so there's no moisture to come out of it and it works really well. So that's the only jill that there is. Okay.
got three weeks old their eyes are still closed um, they're still feeding off mum and, and you can see they're just starting to get colouring in, in the fur in another week or so they'll start to venture out of the nest and probably start to eat meat or try um, and their eyes will slowly start to open at about four, four weeks old you can see they've got the claws and I'm sure they'll have little teeth in there yeah you can just he doesn't want to open his mouth you can just see his little teeth in there I'm sure in a couple of weeks they'll be sticking them in my fingers that's all seven so there's a let's move the camera down a bit looking at them there this one is really dark, dark coloured. Much darker fur. There's another one there that's quite dark. And that one, and then there's there's a couple there that are, are more white. So and, and until their eyes open, it could it could even be an albino. I'm not actually sure to be honest. Until you get their eyes open, but two or three of them certainly have these hobs certainly have the dad's fur because he's got really long fur compared to Bonnie Mum's doing a great job And this darker one is actually the Jill. I never realised that. She's the darkest, by the looks of it, she's the darkest one of them all. The noisiest one as well, by the looks of it. You can see the right fluffy hair. I'll show you the, I'll show you the dad in a minute, and how much different his fur is. And then the last one. Just put mum back in with her. Okay, so the dad here, who's called Billy, he's got he's got really long hair on him, as you could see on the back to the heads on some of them kits. He's certainly got his fur, and I don't know whether this one's part Angora and I don't think he is but he's got compared to my other ferrets he's got really long fur um, so and he's an albino as well so let's say with the kits that come off Bonnie there might be some odd colours chucked in there 
but we shall see. And he is one of, I think he's a year old, I think he was a kit last year, so he'll be a year old this year. Uh, Babies are in there, and he's also fathered, hopefully, another litter with Rosie, um, who is whose mum was an EU Jill. So hopefully, we'll have <laughs> another litter of kits and even different colours, because she's very black, like her mum was, um, with them being um, EU crosses. <coughs> 